These are images of 11-year-old Marie Chisholm Colt, a child with autism, screaming for help on a special ed school bus. <laughs> the 2018 video shows another child with severe special needs slapping, yanking, and punching Marie's head 60 separate times before the bus driver pulls over. Gut-wrenching. It's awful. I don't even have words to describe that. We aren't showing any images of the child with aggressive behaviors because this isn't a story about bad actors on a bus. It's about the Sumner School District where all this happened completely failing her and the other kids with disabilities. The district's failures have led to long-term trauma for Marie. Yeah! It's been nine months since the incident and she still won't get on a bus. <laughs> Baby. While she used to love school, okay. now she begs to stay home. Oh, the school. School. Yep, you have to go to school, baby. Yeah! This is what I have to take to calm her down and get her in my car. And for the first time in her life is on four different anxiety medications. They've destroyed my daughter's life. She's not the same person that she used to be, and I don't know if she's ever going to be any different. Why are you upset? The K-5 investigators have found Marie's suffering could have been prevented. The same thing had happened before. The Sumner School District knew the child on the tape had violent behaviors directly related to her disabilities. She couldn't control her outbursts, but the district didn't help to protect her or the other kids on the bus. They did nothing. They did nothing. They put no safeguards in place. Okay, That's so the mother of first grader Myla Marshall. In 2017, a year before Marie's event, Myla was in a similar situation on the same bus route from the same school involving the exact same child with uncontrolled behaviors. She was punched so many times. <laughs> King 5 obtained bus footage that shows Myla, four years old at the time, getting hit, scratched, and bitten by the same student. During the ordeal, she screams for her mom and dad 115 times. Myla was left with bruises and bite marks up and down her arm and scratches that bled on her head. Her family says it also left her anxiety ridden with night terrors. She's now in counseling and taking medication for anxiety. After this happened, like it really took a piece of her, really. She acts different. The Sumner School District refused repeated requests for an interview, but in a statement said student safety is their paramount priority. We asked them why. Why was a child with a documented history of problems riding the bus without help, like an aide sitting with her? They said they couldn't answer questions like that, but that they take swift, appropriate actions so unfortunate incidents aren't repeated. They did nothing to prevent it. They pretty much set my daughter up to be the victim. And remember, the child with behaviors beyond her control is a victim too. Her mother says she was supposed to be separated from other students on the bus, but security tapes show that wasn't happening. The district dropped the ball. No. Yes. Back at Marie's house, she's clearly struggling. For three hours on a date last month, we watched as she begged her mother over and over for reassurance, a promise her mom will pick her up from school so she won't have to ride the school bus yes, again. Mom picked you up. Mommy picked you up. Yes, sir. Yes. And it's true, we watched as she just wanted to be reassured over and over. And remember, this is nine months after the event had happened when we spent that time at their house. Now, two weeks after our first story aired, the Sumner School District took action. They assigned a full-time aide to ride the bus with the child with those behavior problems. They've also formed an advisory committee to study ways to make their bus system safer and they'll have their first meeting next month. So those changes are great, but the moms of Myla and Marie are asking, you know, that doesn't really help their situation now. Oh, it mm -hmm. just makes my stomach drop when I see those little girls getting hit. Talk about Marie and Myla. What, what happens to them now? Well, the, the really tough part, especially for Marie, is that she's not getting any help at all. She needs specialized therapy. That's what her neurologist told me as well, to deal with this trauma. And the mom said she's asked, begged, and pleaded with the Sumner School District to give her those resources. And so far, 
they've said no. And all the families involved, all three girls' families say they're considering suing the district. Mm. All right. Susanna, thank you for that. Thanks.